Hey guys, Jerry Button from Iceberg Creativity coming at you with a fantastic Pixelmator tutorial and we're going to capture an image within a font. If you want to know what I mean, this is what we'll be making today. A very quick, easy effect that's great for web blogs, for Facebook, to spruce up your Twitter page, your websites, you name it. This also works great with video titles and DVD covers. So, are you ready? Let's get started. Begin by opening up Pixelmator and uh, choosing the image you want to use. I acquired this nice green rolling landscape from Flickr under the Creative Commons search, so it is free to use and edit. I don't think it's free to redistribute, but that shouldn't be a problem. Hit the T on the keyboard to bring up the Type tool, and type in something you'd want to use. I'm going to turn on Capital Lock, so all my letters will be capital, and I'm going to use Land. Now, get your Move tool, and move it to where you'd want. I'm just going to move it here by these nice, nice luscious trees. Then, hold the command key on your keyboard and select the land type in the layers palette. This will create a marquee selection around your text. And we're now going to copy this so that the image appears to be the text itself. So, don't take this little tick mark right here to turn off that layer, or just hide it. Select the landscape layer, and you can still see that the marquee selection is still here. Make sure it is still there. Don't, don't unselect. And on the landscape layer, hit command C to copy and then hit Command-V to paste. Now if we turn off the marquee selection and we move this layer around, you can see that captured within the text shape is the actual original landscape image. This is how this effect is achieved when you see images within text. Now granted, in other applications or video editing applications, this can be done much easier with masks, but I wanted to show it the easiest way and the first way on how I learned to do it, back starting with the basic applications back nine years ago when I was first starting in graphic design. This is a pretty easy effect to achieve and this is not limited to of course just to, to uh, fonts. You can do this with shapes and brushes and all kinds of other great things. And now I'm going to move it right here to achieve a simple uh, spectrum effect I guess if you will. Just position it back to wherever it would originate from just about right here. And then you can rename this layer to non blur. Hit OK. Next, select the landscape layer, go to Filter, Blur, Zoom, and then just make the amount whatever size you want. I'm going to go pretty much all out here, so the land becomes more apparent than even in the background. You can move the direction around if you wish, so it's all green, or it's all blue, or it's you know a happy little medium, or right about here. So it looks like you're zoomed far away, except for the selection you made with your text. Then click OK, and there you have it. Of course you can add effects to this, so say for example you can add a stroke, or you could add a drop shadow, or a blur effect, or anything like that. It is pretty basic. You can also do this with brushes as I said, and I can show you a demonstration of what would happen if you were to do this with the star scatter brush. This is the effect I achieved with the scatter brush using the star brush preset. Of course it is not as apparent that I use a landscape for the background of the brushing, because they're so small, even on a large diameter, it doesn't work out all that well. But if you were to use this on a person, you can make it look like someone was disintegrating, or blowing up, or growing in size, or, you know, transporting somewhere. You know, it's a pretty cool effect, and the possibilities with it are quite, quite vast. So you always play around with this effect. I always do, and it makes for great images, especially with photo manipulations and abstracts. So, guys... It's Jerry Button here for Iceberg Creativity. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. There will be plenty more to come. Thanks for watching.